Well, these dad burn moles just won't go away. They're not getting the message. Every single border of our garden has been dug up and refilled multiple times. I just hope someone's in there now. Once again, I'm gonna dig up the steps, put the pellets in there, see what's going on. There's this hole. Yeah. All right. So this is the stuff I've been using. We even made our own concoction of castor oil and Murphy's oil soap. That didn't work. I'm supposed to chase them away, not kill them. They are moving different places. But they're not running away. They are relocating to different spots of the yard. Hmm. So start from the inside of the yard, work out to move them on. But they're everywhere. And I said to sprinkle some right in the holes once you uncover them. That's what I'm going to do now again. Then I'll wash it down with some water. Should have gloves on. A little bit irritating. All right. This must be the deepest hole. Put some more powder there. Oh yeah, take that. Goddamn mammal. Now I'll rinse down the dirt. Well, once again overnight, the moles have come back. This is the same location I've added the pellets multiple times. Just yesterday, I purchased this solar-powered mole deterrent. It emits some kind of sound, but the battery needs to charge in full sun for two days before activating. It's only a short distance from the new mole holes. I sure hope it works. Those buggers seem to like to dig along these bricks that line the garden. I'm thinking it's because this is where the grubs and worms like to hide. Once again, I opened up the mole holes and sprinkled some of the mole and gopher repellent right in their paths, according to the instructions. We've been gone three days with a small max sonic spike mole and gopher repeller in place. And guess what? It doesn't work. These are huge mounds. Again, right along the border of our garden. What are we gonna do? Is it bad? Yes, it's bad. It's like this thing is laughing at me. Thank you very much. Waste of time and money. Don't buy it.